hi everyone uh, today I'm gonna show you how to calculate area under the curve using Monte Carlo simulation uh, so in this method I'm gonna show you Monte Carlo simulation method in MATLAB so first you can see that I have calculated the area that is 47.27 for a function name as sine square root of x multiplied by exponent power square root of x uh, so first you can of course pause the video here and uh, see the code yes I think now you have have sh shown the see the code and then I can show you that this area is uh, almost as accurate as if you use integration or integral of the function there is an online available uh, app website called integral calculator if you put this function in 0 to 9 then you get the value of 47.27 well uh, so this is almost the same area as uh, I estimated using my MATLAB code for Monte Carlo simulation so how, how we are estimating it is that we define some length x and then some width y and then we draw the function or the curve and then we see which uh, and then we throw some points in this whole rectangle and then we do the logical check which of these points are inside the curve or inside the area uh, of this function curve and which of them are outside and then we calculate the ratio since we know the ratio ratio is the area in the red area divided by the blue area the total area uh, so we know the blue area because we define it from 0 to 9 and 0 to 10 and then we multiply by the ratio uh, and then it, that's the area under the curve so you, this curve is is a is a different curve you don't find normally the curve so let's go to the code it's very easy so first we define x since we are randomizing the uh, length and the, the width so we see, randomize the x uh, it's you can see the code here is that you have to put the minimum maximum minus minimum into random uh, you are generating numbers and that nos is a number of simulations or number of points that you want to generate for this and then you define define x y and then you define your function which in this case is sine square root of x into e power x remember to put this dot so you have a mul element wise multiplication and element wise uh, uh, power option and then you do the logical check the logical check what is actually this function is doing that it's estimating which of those values of y are under the f and uh, then you multiply by y so you only get the, this k variable which is which shows you the values only which are inside the only the red area and the out outer area of the values of y are shown as zero as you can see in k here so all those values like this is zero in fourth column fifth six all those values are zeros because we are not including those values which are outside the area so we know the ratio and then we calculate the rectangular area which is just the maximum of x minus mini minimum of x in this case it's quite simple so it's 9 minus 0 10 minus 0 but i just put in a variable form and then you have a ratio that is sum of all values which are 0 divided by the total number of points that we put then we know the ratio and then we have when we have a ratio then we can calculate the area area is ratio into rectangular area that we estimated and that's why when we run this we got the value of 47.2 uh, and then you can of course draw a plot scatter diagram or scatter plot using this uh, command in MATLAB and you can, you can do labeling of x and y and title and also put the area so if I just change here for example in this case I'm showing you have a six simulations in this area and if I change to value to thousand simulation in this case is now one million uh, times power three so you can see that area reduced significantly because this is 48.48 and that's something Monte Carlo do. Similarly, we can do for other function. Here I have the function called log of x over x, and then uh, I can I can see here uh, using my integral calculator that if I put instead of uh, log of x divided by x, and I go from one to ten. Uh, and then I get value of the area approximately which is 2.65 I can estimate this value using Monte, uh, Monte Carlo simulation in my MATLAB 
and so it's quite easy so I put here 10 where 1 1 and then y is changed it's from 0 0.5 as you can see here in the graph that the y value is is approximately 0 0.5 for you because you are defining rectangle so <clears throat> when you run this and you change the simulation for example 1 million then you get area of 2.6526 and you can see here so it's approximately the same as two after points two decimal places uh, the results are accurate you can see from here 2.6565 uh, so approximately at 1 million you get the same value i hope you like the video and uh, keep checking for more videos thank you and if you have any questions in this just let me know